yesterday one of my friends sent me a whatsapp message posted on uh, a video posted on, on whatsapp um, it was about um, a six year old girl kelsey hines from baltimore she shared an emotional message about gun violence and asked her mother to record it it goes like this you know why can't you all just let us have fun when we want to play with our friends but we can't because of the shooting out there shooting kids shooting babies shooting mothers and fathers god did not create this world to get shoot all up there are too many killings out there we don't want people killing killing us and we don't want we don't want to go to heaven yet we do love the lord but when he is ready for us to come up to him we are ready but we are not ready right now we want our life to be better than this i do not want a world that kills so much you all need to know um <clears throat> that god is watching you he does not like the way you are treating other people i am sorry i just can't take this world this world is crazy you need to change you need to flip the world around we don't want our world to be bad we want our wor- world to be good we need our lives and we just heard what father willie shared what happened to father claude guru at st joseph's oratory you know in the first reading of today portrays joseph's brothers and their <clears throat> eventual selling of him to slavery they were brothers um who shared the blood of the same father jacob with joseph father jacob with joseph you know their father had trusted them his older sons to care for their younger brother in the gospel we heard about the fertile vineyard and it and its owner who leased it to tenants and went on a journey when he sent his servants to the tenants the vintage time to get his product they beat one stoned another and killed the third when he finally sent his son they killed him also in each story the trusted ones betrayed the one who had trusted them these two stories make us think about the responsibilities god has entrusted to us for the well-being of ourselves our families our parishes our society and the world the readings of today stimulate us to think about accepting our responsibilities god has entrusted to us and use our time talent and treasure in fulfilling these responsibilities the cry of the 6 year old girl in the story asking for a place to have just to have fun to play with her friends and not a place of shooting and killing make us think that our own responsibility for peace in the world begins with our own families what am i doing to be a better self family member the world and world citizen during this lenten season god bless you and your families